off those flu seasons, right? But we do want to talk a little bit about Hershey's cocoa. What does it have uh, to do with toilet paper, petroleum jelly? and Hershey's Cocoa. What does that all have in common? Jeff Stevenson from the Imagination Station can explain for us today. I'm, I'm out of my element here. I'm stepping in for Kimberly. No, 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 no. That's, you have to walk me that's through totally this. fine, totally fine. What I'm gonna be doing for you is I'm doing a little zombie makeup, all right? Okay. And what's great about this is you're right, it uses just three, well, technically four ingredients. We okay. have Vaseline toilet paper, Hershey's Cocoa, and some red food coloring, all right? Okay. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start Are putting this on. Yeah, yeah, okay. roll, roll up your we sleeve, do, roll up your sleeve. This. And I'll kind of walk you through what I'm doing as I'm doing it. How about What did that? I get myself into? Yeah, don't, don't worry, I'm gonna put on, this side? You always wanna put on the outside, because okay. on the inside you can get your clothes as you close your arms Touché, together. Touche, Jeff, looking so, out, always yeah, looking out. Yeah, these are just little tips if you're this doing This looks like own. jam, it, like it, I wanna it, eat it. it. You know, every every single kid we do that to always says that too. So you have a lot in common with the kids who come through our building when it comes to the zombie. I that sometimes. I have a lot in common with children. So the first thing I did is I just laid down a layer of petroleum jelly and I just dyed mine red with food coloring. Okay. And then what I have next is I have a piece of toilet paper. Very complicated equipment here. But yeah. it's, I get like the cheapest toilet paper. The single ply. And I yeah. peel the ply. Like, and so it's I, a, even more of a single ply. Yes, this is really, really single ply. So I get very cheap toilet paper to do this, and you're going to put it on top. And this is kind of the fun part where you kind of have a little artistic sense where I, I think they yeah. can get a good shot of this. Yeah, so I'm okay. going to like take these ridges up here okay. so that it looks like there's a wound that's healing. And I'm going to try to kind of do it so they can get a good view of it. Ew. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah. All right, okay, it's so pretty, of it's pretty cool. Okay, okay, now I'm going I'm to kind of go and see if I can get it really, really high. Oh, okay, so this is perfect, Jeff, for kids with Halloween coming up. and something easy for parents to be able to do, right? This is something easy for parents to do. Every year for Halloween, I do this for people who forgot to get a costume, you know, really? if they knew it last minute. Because, yeah, I got some petroleum jelly and Hershey's cocoa and food coloring always sitting around my house. So. Okay, the Hershey's cocoa is really, really... You're a little confused by it, why we need yep. Hershey's cocoa? Here, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put. A, I'm going to cover up all this white stuff here. Oh, so we leave the toilet paper on my skin. Oh yeah, that, that's adding the three-dimensional shape. We we want. We definitely want that to okay. be still here. So let me get rid of some of that excess toilet paper. Cool. And we're going to just kind of cover this up. That looks disgusting. You're doing a good job. It looks right. awful. It, it's about to look a lot. Yeah, it's starting to look disgusting, but it's not as disgusting as I want it. I want it to be really, really gross. And I did not think that I would have red petroleum jelly and toilet paper smeared on my arm today. No, nope. yeah, I, you know, I really doubt that. You did. <laughs> see, and what's great is, you know, do you see how I have your attention right now? You're, you know, you're, you're very, you know, you're engaged with me. Are right you now. doing something behind me? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I'm just saying this is a great opportunity for us to, you know, we talk to kids about their blood and the different parts of their blood. I even have a blood model here oh. where we show them, like, you know, the platelets is what causes the scabbing. And so, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of Hershey's cocoa here. So I, what, you know, I've already laid on another layer to kind of keep that toilet paper down. And okay. what this Hershey's cocoa does is it actually uh, makes it look oh. like it's scabbing. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's really disgusting. Now a little tip, you wanna rub it completely in. You don't want any um, Hershey's cocoa. Because it can't be, be light brown, right? Yeah, you want it to be dark brown. And if you notice, I'm leaving the center part actually completely clean so it oh. looks like a Fresh wound. That is the the flesh fresh wound. Yeah, you can see I'm about halfway done, right? And it's okay. it's getting pretty it's getting pretty close to looking really disgusting and fleshy. Oh, uh, oh, right, oh right, it right. does look really bad. Yeah, it looks really <laughs> gross. You're looking really. All right, I'm gonna try to quickly hurry it up so we can get to the final product here because okay. I know that's what you want to see is what, what what you look like in the end. Okay, so so Jeff, with you guys, how how did you guys come up with this? I mean, you were like, let's put petroleum jelly and toilet paper on someone and see what happens. I mean, there's a lot of little special effects tricks that are out there to doing makeup. Um, let me clean out your wound a little there. Thanks. And, yeah, it was um, getting a little yeah, infected. It was get, getting a little infected there. So, um, but you know, honestly, we've been doing this for years. Every year we do spooky science for the entire month of October. I love it. This year is no different. And so we've be, kind of become pros. You know, at first we started doing it and they looked pretty good. And then now we kind of got the technique Now down you can go to where, Cedar Point and do makeup for the zombies. Yeah, now I'm not quite done. I'm going to take a, a clean This is not stick. done, believe it or not. Yeah, and, oh. I, and I want to just kind of wipe off the edges. Okay. So that you have a nice. You're also clean. a barber here. Yes, yes. This is exactly what your barber does to your wounds. There you go. <laughs> and this looks get... really gross. Kimberly, are you sad that you're missing out on this? <laughs> okay. See, now look how disgusting that looks. I mean, it even looks like you know, like I, I can, like this is like your little infected wound here. Ew. We're gonna get those skin flaps. Ew. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that, that is gross? So gross? Here, just see it. Hold it still. Let them see it. Let them see it. Uh, see, and the Vaseline gives it that like really moist uh, color and everything like that, which is just super cool. And like I said, how great does it look? <laughs> great opportunity to talk about some biology, some blood, white blood cells, red blood cells, yes. platelets, plasma, all of that stuff. But also a really, really awesome super. Uh, seriously, go home, find some Vaseline, cocoa powder, and toilet paper, okay. and try it out. Do it over and over again. You'll get really, really good at it. Okay, it's so really so cool. Jeff, spooky science is going on all through October? All October, October 31st. Okay. Is, you know, so from now all the way to October 31st, you can learn how to do a cool spooky one. I'll, you know, <laughs> come on in, I'll show you how to do one. Our team will show you how to do one. I love it. Um, yeah, it's a really, really cool month. And we have a lot of other spooky activities as well. So. Awesome. Jeff with the Imagination Station, we always appreciate you coming in. I finally got to do a segment. Thanks, Kimberly, for coughing over there. Uh, we've got much more WTOL 11 Your Day coming up. Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show continues in just a moment.